Unseen Elder, come on. Yes! Oh! Oh! Yo, you ready for it? Oh ho ho ho! Oh! <laughs> wow! This is a fantastic moment, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Okay, that's a big hit. Huh? Bruh. How did that brick like that? From from tomes are. Uh... Yes, yes, this is an order. Okay, we just go for it. Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together a devo Devotion Vampires list, as you can see here. Blood Scent is the leader ability that we'll be using. With this order, we get to give an enemy unit bleeding for three turns, and we have three charges. Once all charges are used up, we spawn an Ekimara into a random allied row, that's that three power token unit that you see there. Bear in mind, it's also a vampire itself. As far as how to use our leader and when to use it, for the most part, we want to save it for round two uh, when we're literally bleeding the opponent with our bleeding strategy and trying to get good cards out of them, try to 2 them. We synergize this with Fledder in particular. We could use one leader charge round one also to work with a Fledder that we play out. Crystal Skull's a stratagem. We get to boost an allied unit by four and give it fail. In particular, we want to serve Stratagem to be played onto Necarat. You could also use it for the Alp and even Flitter itself. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for our deck. Now, bear in mind, for most of our bleeding and vampire synergies, really what we want to do is play those out round one and round two and for a short round three situation we want to fall back on regis reborn and the nl conquerors so bear that in mind with these following units that we're going to go over so with the plummet deploy give an enemy unit bleeding for two turns bonded give it bleeding for four turns instead whenever you find a plummet hold on to it if you like because they play for greater value bonded and they're a nice way to trigger um greater boost for fledder Obviously, the synergy it has with Necrat being a vampire works good with Oriana, Unseen Elder, all those gold cards that we have in this deck. Two NL Conquerors, a Veiled Unit, so it cannot gain statuses. Deploy, it will destroy self. However, because we're a Devotion deck, we can play this card and we get to cancel the Deploy ability. I have the NL Conqueror for short round three situation because I do find bleeding synergy in short round situations are kind of awkward to play out and get full value value out of so we've got a bit of balance with how this deck can play and these conqueror units give us some proactive play as well in two certain rounds feast of blood is an organic card reason i added feast of blood in here obviously has good synergy with this kind of a deck but we're also playing Wispest tribute so we've got more cards for Wispest to thin out other than crimson curse up here so with feast of blood we get to purify and damage an enemy unit by three 
if we control a vampire also give it bleeding for three turns feast of blood nice to use round one or two and just make sure we have a vampire down the board before we play it out and you can just target any of your opponents different statuses they may have get them out of there double necrat we're looking to play necrat on the melee row because that's how its order ability works and for the most part necrat is pretty much our proactive plays for round one and round two it's what we want to open up the rounds with zeal order melee give an enemy in a bleeding for two turns cooldown of two but whenever we play a vampire card we reduce this unit's cooldown by one so because of how this cooldown works basically once we play necrat we just want to um subsequently keep playing vampire cards play fletter out plummets that kind of style of play We've got two alps in this list deploy give an enemy unit bleeding of three and then it has an order give an enemy unit bleeding three again alp is really nice to be played with fletter we can give fletter a greater boost timing the deploy timing the order in combination with fletter so once again round one and two card try to you know spread as much bleeding as you can across the opponent's side of the board because we have cards like oriana unseen elder that will benefit from that for some consistency for this deck to help us find the cards we're looking for i've added in the wild hunt riders so deploy is dominance related so we need the highest powered unit on the field at the time when we play this for this to work we summon all copies of this unit from our deck to this row so we can have one wild hunt rider played and what we want to do is always leave the other copy in deck because of how this deploy works really and we can prioritize doing this round one and Fletter can help us gain dominance in particular around one to play this card out. Then I've got one Incubus in this deck. Deploy, summon a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard to the opposite row. Then summon a bronze unit of equal or less provision from your graveyard to this row. I have Incubus in this deck mainly to replay Fletter because that's a really nice play. However, we could also bring back Necrat and alp in particular and incubus can be played round two or three because of the way this card works uh we've got two flitters in this deck when bleeding is applied to an enemy unit boost off by that amount applied counter one refresh the counter at the beginning of your turn we can play one flitter around one and then save the other for either round two or three um synergize leader with flitter as well to keep it out of removal range queen of the night deploy melee Give bleeding three to an enemy. Ranged purify unit. So that's pretty much why I added Queen of the Night in here. It gives us a way to purify one of our own units if it gains a status like a lock or a poison. But nice thing is that we could also use it offensively if we like. You're probably best off saving Queen of the Night for around two or three. Whisper's Tribute as a consistency card to find a gold that we'd like. They'll go over in a second. So we're playing Whisper's Ranged. Play an organic card from your deck. And the organic card that we really have Whispers in here to find us is Crimson Curse. It's a really strong card. Gives us some good tempo with a deck like this. But other than that, Whispers can also pull us Feast of Blood if we like. So as far as playing Whispers Tribute, we can play her round one into Crimson Curse to give us that tempo to win round one. Toad Prince for some control. Deploy is melee row locked consume a unit with four or less power perhaps we can damage down some units through bleeding and then they get in range for toad prince to remove but other than that toad prince plays pretty good against spotters right now in this current meta we can play it as we need it oriana deploy give an enemy unit bleeding with a duration equal to the number of allied vampires ranged every allied turn on turn end boost self by the number of bleeding enemy units i suggest we utilize oriana round two on the bleed in combination with unseen elder um detloff leader and then she'll be getting a nice boost especially from unseen elder dispersing a lot of bleeding around the board uh we have cave troll to offer protection to our strong engines so cave trolls a defender the opponent can't manually target any card on this row unless they remove this somehow we have cave troll to bring protection for oriana Unseen Elder, Fledders, and Detluff that we'd like to play all out into round two. Nuggle Far to help us find our gold cards during a match. Look at two random gold cards from your deck. Play one, place the other on top. Because of the random aspect of Nuggle Far and how it works, I suggest it's most safe to play round two 
when we're a bit more certain of what we're likely to pull with this card. Then we've got Detloff. Deploy Spawn Blood Moon on an enemy row for two turns. Increase the duration by one for every adjacent vampire. Order, damage an enemy unit with bleeding by one. If we hit the death blow, we spawn an Ekimara on the row. <clears throat> so that's what we want to do with Detloff. Try to prioritize uh, death blow as much as you can. Play Detloff round two behind Defender. Detloff also has good synergy with Crimson Curse because this spawns two vampire tokens. And it's just a nice setup for this card. Uh, bear that in mind also. But I think best way to play this is just in between Oriana and Unseen Elder round two. Crimson Curse, organic card, as we, we discussed earlier. Spawn Blood Moon on an enemy row for five turns, then spawn two Ekimaras in the opposite row. So this gives us some nice tempo, good synergy with Fletter. Um, best played round one to help us win round one, but if we can save for round two, it's even better, I believe. Unseen Elder, really strong devotion engine. Pretty much the main reason why I went with a devotion build for this deck was because of unseen elder so deploy give bleeding four to an enemy unit try to time that when you have a fletter down so the fletter gets a nice boost at the end of your turn give bleeding two to a random enemy unit without bleeding and because we're a devotion deck bleeding on enemy units also triggers at the end of your turn which is amazing and unseen elder we just want to play this out round two make oriana play for greater value in particular and then finally, we got Regis Reborn. Everyone's familiar with this card, I'm sure. Deploy, drain an enemy unit by three at the end of your turn while in hand or deck. If there is an enemy unit with bleeding, increase own base power by one. So the idea is that we want to have consistent bleeding every turn throughout the entire match as much as possible. So Regis plays for the greatest value possible. And Regis is our final say card at the end of the match. We really want to push hard to win round one um, and have final say of Regis because we're really counting on Regis to win us the match with so many points he offers. So now that I've covered the list, let me explain our execute strategy for this deck. We're not really a control deck. We're more of an engine based deck. I suggest for the most part, we avoid long round threes. What we want to do is push hard to win round one, um, bleed into round two, if not 2-0 the opponent. Uh, if the 2-0 is not there, we have Regis Reborn to play out in round 3 uh, to hopefully win the match. So what we can do to win round 1, we can play a combination of one Fletter, we can play Wild Hunt Riders, Alp, Necrat, Feast of Blood, Plummets together if we like. Uh, perhaps Toad Prince if we need. We can play Whispers Tribute into Crimson Curse. Should be enough to win round 1. Uh, into round 2, just try to 2-0 the opponent. We're going to play Cave Troll Ranged because Oriana is ranged through. So it's going to be Cave Troll, Unseen Elder, play Oriana, play Detlaf, play Fletter, use Incubus. Just try to 2-0. And if it's not there, in a short round 3 situation, we can proactively utilize the both NL Conquerors and final say with Regis Reborn to hopefully win the match. So I hope you have fun watching this video and thanks a lot for your time and support. Double Fletter, maybe... Oh, nice. We open up, stock standard play. A fledgling? Should we roast stack against them? <laughs> My name. I don't recall. Maybe put this one here. Why not? Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for the effort. Thanks for your first time chat. Oh. This is a huge consume for Toad. This is massive. 
Talk about value, man. He's hungry today. We gonna eat today. <laughs> wow, we're cleaning up just with these bronzes. Well... I guess we can play you. How much bleeding do you give? Uh, bleeding for three turns. Alright, cool. We'll give you six bleeding. Nice. Feels good. Now we want Cave Troll. Unseen Elder. Already got Oriana. Yes. Yes. Unseen Elder. Okay, right. Oh yeah, we pass, we pass. Okay, we pass. Scenario leader on seven. I pass. Good trade. Now, I just, just want one of these. Because I can pull that with uh, Whispers. Just one. One of those golds. Uh, uh. Um, Unseen Elder, please. Okay, we're still going to get it. Oh, uh, crap. What do they have at five? That's at four? Um, okay, maybe we start like this. Okay. Oh wow, it's old school. Bonjour, ça va? Nice to see you. I guess we go this way? Wow, that's early. Does that keep boosting if it's on the board? It's got harmony, yeah. Weeping Willow? Still 
Now we go Unseen Elder. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Oh! -ho -ho! Wow! Look at the effect! That's, that's got to be magic. Got to be a magic moment. Be not afraid. This will only hurt a bit. Oh my goodness. Devotion vampires are back. That is all I need. Yo, tis but a scratch. Tis but a scratch. Don't worry about it. Absolutely, positively, don't worry. Simlas, double harvest, not nah, just another one. Tis but a scratch. Epic, man. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Don't you pester me. Don't you pester me. Nothing like some overseas plundering and spring. Is the game good? Yeah, I love Gwent. What's up, Dougie? How are you? Uh, nice. Enjoy. Man, I wish I had like some more cards to push with here. I don't really have the cards. We don't really have them, do we? Does Nago far pull me now? It's probably not worth Nago far. Wow, okay. It's better. Necarets. Um Sure. Nuggle far? On crate long ship. Sure. 
Looking to generate bloodthirst. Rune Mage. Hold on. Renfrey? No, can't be Renfrey Feral Bond. What's Rune Mage in here for? So, non devotion? Yeah. What is this? What kind of a deck is this, man? Shoop and Lippy. Thanks for the follow as well, appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, this isn't Fushia, is it? He plays wild decks like this. Oh my god. Are you serious? Look what they rolled into. <laughs> You're absolutely joking, man. What if we just go... Just get as much as we can out of this now. Oh my god, look at the cards! <laughs> that way? Or, we nuggle fire now. Got the toad. A feast. Really trying to get rid of St. Elderay. They misplay it? No, we can even play it. Oh. Now nah, we played here, eh? They gave me Skellige Wolves melee? Okay, should have played a ranged. Would have been better for them.
Oh crap. We get all in? If I hit death blow, I block this row. But I want protection. I want to protect it. Your powers of deduction seem to have you not one bit. Yes. Good. Yes. It was the right move. It was the right move. There we go. We're climbing with devotion vampires today. Legends. This finds that. Is this the medalist? Imprisonment? Imprisonment rent free? Oh, okay, could be. Yep, could be for sure. What's up, normal? How are you? Nice to see you, man. An interesting Getting a seven? Not too bad. <laughs> Guess that's not so bad for us. Uh, got Whispers and Nugglefire as well. Versing some aggressive players today. <laughs> some real aggressive players, man. Maybe we play this now as well. That way. Probably got a lock for that too. Lock Fiesta. <laughs> We're seeing everything, guys. When I verse these decks, they go so aggressive round one. Go, use leader. <laughs> Expend your leader as well. What are you going to get with it? <laughs> oh my god.
That is so hilarious, man. It's probably wise if I pass on five. Nah. I don't think so. <laughs> Just getting out of there, man. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Renfrey's gang for Fletter. Oh uh, yeah, we want to find this. <laughs> hey guys, do you think that's aggressive play or you think it's alright for that deck? To play like that round one. I'm interested to hear what people think about it. Serious question. We really need Defender. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God is good, man. Yeah. Toad's hungry today. Gotta to feed him. Gotta to feed the pet toad. You know how it goes. Right. <laughs> you can say it today. <laughs> uh, devotion. They're nice at the provision. And uh, they give us a proactive play. And they make short round threes better. Because, you know, we want to bleed with this deck. And in short rounds... Bleeding synergy is not good. So I added in those Conqueror units so you can just kind of like point slam and just play Regis Reborn like as a finisher kind of a deal. No way, man. Are you kidding me? No worries. Sins of the flesh are my speciality. Wow. Renfrey Vamps. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, it's Renfrey Vamps. Um, we're not versing Nilfgaard. Just like to remind you all. About that. Unseen Elder's gonna freaking clean up, baby. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the magic part of the stream. <laughs> this is uh, the magic moment, as we say. They're really trying to go there, man. Silent 
<laughs> they're preparing for Triss. Yeah, they're rolling out the red carpet. I mean, are those options good for them though, for Triss? Like those units on the melee there? A lot of fours. There it is. Oh, they want to keep the Necrorite going. Okay. That's a pretty big combo. It's already out. Do we just want to kill it off? Let's use it that way. Let me get rid of it. It's still an engine they have. So, how's Ivar going to work here for them? We got Cave Troll. A noble plan indeed, I, say. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, good. That dies. Man. Unseen Elder Flitter combo. Oh, it's crazy. Hell yeah. So good. Don't worry. I played around that as best I could. Yeah, don't worry. I calculated it. Well, Cave Troll dies now anyway. What's the best target for this? Doesn't matter. Oh, that's a good win. Guys, we did it. Absolutely amazing scenes here today.